What is going on everybody? It's your boy Blank Online here today to chat with you more about some Black Ops Cold War. Today I wanted to talk about League Play. So League Play is out right now on Black Ops Cold War, the fabled League Play. The mode that we were actually meant to get at the start of the game being released, but now it's being released a couple months into the game's life cycle. So I sort of wanted to talk about League Play, what it is, if you guys don't know what the game mode is, and its effects on skill-based matchmaking, because I'm seeing a lot of people asking on Twitter and sort of just discussion and all this sort of stuff saying is league play going to remove skill-based matchmaking we'll be answering all those questions and more in this video but if you haven't done so yet make sure you click that subscribe button to be kept up to date on everything to do with black ops cold war we do a bunch of different discussion topics here on this channel so if you like talking shit about call of duty this is your number one place to be Let's go into the deep dive into what League Play exactly is. Now, League Play was first introduced in Black Ops 2. Now, the Black Ops 2 system of League Play was essentially you're given a rank, much like you would in games such as Valorant and CSGO. So you would go into these League Play games, and it's essentially exactly what public matches are like now in Cold War. It's basically skill-based matchmaking, but you can actually see your skill rating within League Play. Now, what League Play will do, it'll give you these different ranks, and basically, you just go up the different ranks so exactly like i said before valorant csgo overwatch those types of games here in in call of duty now league play being here in in, in cold war doesn't really do a lot for the game if i'm completely honest with you i don't know why a lot of people are getting excited for league play because essentially we've been playing league play since november the 13th if, if you look at it as a system, the League Play playlist is meant to be a so-called ranked playlist uh, where you get skilled and tested and all this sort of stuff and matched up with people who are of your similar skill rating. And let me ask you guys if that sounds familiar. And if it does sound familiar, then you're completely right. That's, that's public matches. League Play is essentially just public matches with a visible rank that's going to be next to your name. Now, League Play being a thing in this game only further emphasizes the fact that Activision wants to hide the fact that skill-based matchmaking is an algorithm that takes place within the game's multiplayer and public matches. The dream scenario would only see be for, for League Play to be its thing so people can have that competitive fix, so people can have those sort of games where they want to sweat their balls off and that sort of stuff and then be rewarded with a rank and that sort of thing for, for trying hard and, and committing to that sort of competitive aspect of the game. And then the dream scenario I would also continue in having normal public matches not have skill-based matchmaking whatsoever because if you're gonna have a ranked playlist and a so-called unranked playlist where both playlist algorithm revolves around your skill rating it doesn't necessarily make any sense there so that's why league play for me is not really a big exciting thing that everyone should get hyped about it's coming in a really weird time it's coming in a time that's just after the season one reloaded update if anything it should have came with the season one reloaded update but it's coming after the hype has sort of died down with season one and it's coming at a time where a lot of people are more aware that skill based matchmaking is a factor here in cold war a lot of pe more people are aware of the effects of skill-based matchmaking so therefore more people should be educated enough to know the implications on league play and what it has to do with ranked and unranked playlists which is absolutely nothing skill-based matchmaking is not going anywhere as a result of league play because it makes activision way too much money league play all it'll do is it'll cover the cracks and it'll make people who don't believe in skill-based matchmaking it'll make people who acknowledge that skill-based matchmaking is a thing and think ah oh, just get good at the game all that sort of bullshit all it'll do for those players is give them another outlet for them to sweat their balls off and have a good time there personally for me i won't be doing anything with league play i won't be entertaining the idea of league play if I, I probably will never play league play because why would i want to take a break from normal public matches and only go into yet more public matches essentially essentially that's all league play is all league play is is normal pubs with a fancy emblem next to your name that's all it is there's nothing different separating nuketown 24 7 to league play it's exactly the same thing you'll get the same amount of sweaty in league play as you will in normal pubs so either way you're fucked and it doesn't really matter and to all the people thinking that skill-based matchmaking is going to be removed because league play is coming into the game it's it's a dream I, honestly it would be a dream for league play to be introduced and for skill-based matchmaking to go away but as i said it makes activision 
way too much money it, it does it there's no feasible reason why activision would tell the developers to remove that algorithm from the game because all the casuals will look at league play and think oh that's that's scary i won't i won't play that anymore so if anything more of the sweats will go into league play further protecting the casuals and new players and bad players from the idea of reverse boosting and all this sort of stuff because of not only skill-based matchmaking but but league play as well so league play is not necessarily a thing that i don't think anyone should really get excited about if anything it's probably just going to be uh, just another game mode just like gunfight just like face off prop hunt fire team dirty bomb all these random bullshit game modes and it's just going to be another one of those necessarily and it's unfortunate you know it, it's a, it's unfortunate that that Treyarch is is going balls deep into creating new fancy game modes and really neglecting 6v6 the traditional 6v6 call of duty that made the franchise what it is today if you look at the current sphere of call of duty look at all the game modes that are getting big pushes zombies obviously getting big a big push uh warzone being front and center on everything these types of game modes like fire team dirty bomb getting brand new original maps whereas 6v6 traditional multiplayer is just getting remakes or reimaginings or remasters of old maps do you, do you really see any new maps anymore have we seen a new map in in any of the dlcs here for cold war are we pr are we going to see any new dlc maps for for cold war any good ones might i add let me say that first and foremost any good dlc maps because i don't think we really will i honestly don't think we really will if you look at last year with modern warfare 2019 some of the best maps to come out of that game post launch were just reimaginings or remakes or remasterings of old call of duty maps in the first place so it if, if anything, just League plays just another thing, uh, and and it's nothing to get excited about. Skill-based matchmaking is not going anywhere because it makes Treyarch way too much money, makes, it makes Activision way too much money. Just the general algorithm as a whole benefits the game more than it hinders it on a financial point of view, and we're just probably going to have to deal with it, and, and we're just going to continue to get game modes like this, like League Play, that are just going to cover over the cracks so that Activision doesn't have to admit that skill-based matchmaking is in the game, because if they... If if, if anyone pushes them to say that skill-based matchmaking is in the game, all they have to do is say, why would we have an algorithm such as skill-based matchmaking when we have a game mode such as League Play, which rates players based on skill in the first place? So it's just another excuse, another way for Activision to, to, to cover their eyes and cover their ears and say, skill-based matchmaking is not a thing. But that's all I have for you guys today. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below. What do you think about League Play? Are you excited of League Play's inclusion here in Cold War? Have you tried it yet? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Click subscribe if you're new here. As I said at the start of the video, if you haven't done so yet, so make sure you keep up on all of the videos posted here on the channel. See you guys next time. Peace. Can't you see the bandage on my face? Uh, wanna lie the city, that's my place. Uh, don't you touch the money, that's my case. Uh, ride around the city like you know the place. Killing everybody like you know the base. Uh, stealing all the cars, then you go race. Uh, fucking everybody, you don't know the name.